Queensway's already had a, several horses come through, among them one of the higher priced horses to go through, hip number 65, that was a colt by Tappet for $525,000. That had to be a bright spot so far in the day, Mike. Well, we were delighted with that result, you know. That was 42 times the stud fee the horse was bred on at the time, and of course he had the big pedigree. He's a three parts brother in blood to Pyro, who recently won the Forego Grade 1 for Sheikh Mohammed, and um, he went over very well. He was a very good colt, good moving horse. He vetted very well, and he was a really good prospect coming in, and uh, we had several interested parties, and then um, John Ferguson had a word with us there at the, right before the horse went in the ring, and we assured him he was a good colt, and the price was fair, and they went on and they bought him for Darley, so uh, we were delighted with the results, and um, Tappet, of course, uh, continues to do very well. He was the leading first crop sire and juvenile sire in 08. He's gone forward now. He's got a top colt in Japan named Test Hamada, who's a grade one winner in Japan. So he's showing he can get colts of the highest quality, as well as fillies and champions like Stardom Bound and Lara. So he's doing extremely well and delighted to report that this week a Fleet Alex has hit number one on the freshman sires list, so it's all go. Dublin, of course, uh, taking the hopeful at Saratoga. He looks like a horse of great talent, and Wayne Lucas tells me he's going to the Champagne next, and maybe the Jockey Club stakes at Churchill so he can get a run over the track there and experience for the first Saturday in May next year. Well, of course, outside uh, the sale ring, uh, another one of the Gainesway Stallions has had a pretty good year. Birdstone has uh, two birds. Well, year. he certainly does, and Summer Bird came through and probably has vaulted himself to the head of the three-year-old crop, uh, male division at least, and um, he looked very good in the Travers, and I saw him the Monday morning afterwards with Tim Ice, and he really didn't look like a horse who just won a grade one, so he's a horse with a lot of uh, future ahead of him. He's on the immature side. He's only going to get better, and um, it's tremendous for Birdstone, who himself was a grade one winner at two. He broke his maiden at Saratoga, first time out by a dozen lengths, and I think he's really surprised a lot of people, but it's all there, the pedigree, the performance, and next year, of course, he'll get the mares, and it's an exceptional start to a young stallion's career to get two individual classic winners in his first crop. Mike, with um, hip number 126 in the ring and, and coming up shortly, uh, Bernardini Philly, uh, hip number 127. Your, your impression so far of uh, of how the sale has gone? Obviously, there was uh, some some anxious moments. Uh, I'd say guarded optimism going in today at best. Well, I think that's fair in light of the current economy. But the way, looking at the notice board or the results board, I'd have to say there's the market and then there's the market for the Gainesway yearlings. Because right now we're three for three. We sold very well here and we've got a very good Bernardini filly to come up 149 and she's followed by 164 a first samurai and uh, we've got good action up for Wednesday up at barn 31 and um, we're having a really good run and our sale horses are running at the tracks and I think people are catching on to that now and there's real synergy at Gainesway, both in the Salian side of operation, as well as the graduates coming out of the Gainesway shed row. And people buy from us with confidence. And like in the case of the Tappet Colt, John Ferguson, on behalf of Darley, just asked us at the last minute, are we all good here? And, and we assured him we were. And, and that man went in and bid with confidence uh, on, on that level of trust that Gainesway have established. Michael, I know that you still have work left to do. It's always a busy time for all the consigners, but uh, we do appreciate you stopping by. And before we let you go, with the Bernardini coming into the ring, and one for you a little bit later on, uh, obviously it's been a very positive reaction to Bernardini. What a racehorse he was. Uh, and what are you seeing in the offspring that obviously the buyers are responding to so far? Well, I mean, he's obviously got very strong in-house support, but that being said, he was a top horse. I really love him as an individual. We we had the good colt at Saratoga um, that Sheikh Mohammed bought for a million three. Nick Zito was the underbidder on that uh, colt, daughter of Birdtown. Of course, he trained, Nick trained Birdtown for Mary Lou and Birdstone, and he knows the quality in the family. And um, he gets commercial horses. He's got very good mares. He's getting a great chance. And um, 
We wish Darley the very best with him, and um, we'll be in there with Corinthian. He's our next horse to come along. First crop falls here in November, folks. Look out for Corinthian. He won the Met Mile. He won the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. So we'll be sparring in there with Street Sense and Hard Spun with the first crop wheelings. But Bernardini tops on AP and he's got pedigree, had the ability, you know, he's got a great chance and um, we wish them well. Always a pleasure, Michael. Thanks so much for your Thank time. Thank you very much.